Hi, Dick Rochford, aboard uh, Piper Meridian, 2008. We're en route from Swift River, Saskatchewan to High River, Alberta. It's January. And we're now messing with the pressure system just to understand it better. There, it's pretty simple really. We've got an inflow valve which allows pressurized air from the engine compressor to enter the cabin at a rate that we like. We have an ECS valve which adjusts the volume of air coming into the cabin. Also just above the ECS valve, we have a covered dump valve, which allows us to open the outflow valve in the back to dump the cabin should we need to smoke, whatever. We also now have our controller, a small controller with numbers on the outer ring, which represent an altitude we can command with the white diamond by turning that knob. That, that's really uh, an aneroid bellows that simply adjusts, adjusts pressure in a line to control how much or how little the outflow valve opens. For you mathematicians, it controls DVDT. Is it 13575, United 6055? That's correct, 3575. Have a good day, thank you. Bye. Now, in an effort to show the value of that, I've asked Andrew to uh, adjust the controller and the rate controller to 10,000 maximum rate. So now we're, the, it, the gauge is indicating we have a cabin of 10,000. Uh, we're at flight level 200, so I don't want to dump the cabin. But a 10,000-foot cabin is just fine for what we're trying to demonstrate. So we've done that by physically moving the rate controller to fully clockwise to increase the rate and set the cabin controller at uh, 10,000. This is the Uncle 3612 climbing through 184. What that means is we have a less, a higher cabin altitude than we uh, reasonably could. We know this because the PSI of the cabin is less than the maximum. If it were at 5.5, that would be as good as we could do. But here at 20, uh, we've got a cabin altitude of about 3 and change. Notice the pulse oximeter has gone down to 92. It, you, you didn't see it because I wasn't showing you, but it was at 97, 98. Uh, the trees are earlier and now it's 92 with a pulse of 83 so it's still acceptable according to the FAA and I suspect the Canadians too but um, it's not ideal so uh, what we should do is command a cabin altitude that's consistent with 500 feet above field elevation for the destination so we can, uh, we can go to info and pick off that number. And so somewhere around 4,000 feet will be 500 above High River. Alberta. Yeah, so turn that down to what 4,000 4, feet on the outer scale. Do we want to have this back over this way, or was that fine with? No, we we can let it uh, let it rip. So. The rate controller is still maximum rate, so it's given us 2,000 feet of descent of the cabin. And the cabin altitude is coming off the 10 peg and going back down uh, to something a little more comfortable. And what we'll find over time is that uh, oximeter number will get closer to 99 or 100%. Hospitals like you to have oxygen if you're below 90, and so it's useful um, to fi follow that as a guide, I think. Although, in a Piper Meridian at flight level 280, it's possible uh, to have a cabin above 10,000 feet.
each case you get a, an enunciator. Cabin altitude 10K. And uh, it's entirely possible that your oximeter number would be getting uh, pretty low. So we owe it to ourselves to use the cabin in a way that improves comfort, which is really what it's all about. Uh, we don't have to wear oxygen. And in this airplane, the way to do that is to set the cabin controller 500 feet above field elevation for the departure field. And then at the top of the descent, set it 500 feet above field elevation for the destination field. What that accomplishes is it ensures that our cabin is at zero PSI when we get 500 feet above the field. But now the cabin is settled in at 5.5, so we're doing the best we can. And sure enough, the pulse is down two points, and uh, the oximeter number is up another three points. Now with slow, even breathing through the nose, four seconds in, four seconds out, slowly, and, uh, carefully, uh, one, four, zero, we can even improve that number two, more if we want to. Through, uh, 15, nine, for two, one, zero. Air Canada 140, Edmonton Center, good afternoon, climb flight level 280. All right, zero. Dick Rochford. And, uh, one, zero. Fly safely. Train off it. Yeah, it's 422, contact Edmonton Center.